Hi, I'm Molly Gold, home organization expert, and today we're talking senior year tips, graduation announcements. If you know me, you know that I have a high school senior. He's going to be graduating in just six short weeks. So there's a million and one things that I'm doing that are all kinds of senior year related. And of course, what do I do when I come upon a new organizational topic? I share it with you. And I hope that for many of you, this information is very relevant for where you are or where you'll be in just a few short years. So here are my tips for graduation announcements. First, choose a source that will give you a lot of options. I'm thrilled to be working with Tiny Prince on this campaign because Tiny Prince has hundreds of graduation announcements to pick from. It's just that simple. Things for boys, things for girls, things that are casual, things that are formal and fabulous photo options. So choose an outlet that gives you a lot of options. There's more than just the traditional graduation announcement out there available for you today. So you wanna make sure that you get the lay of the land. Next, engage your student in the process. I was so surprised to learn that my son would love to have pictures Thank goodness we can put them to good use and that he wanted his school colors. Who knew? I would not have assumed that he wanted that. Yes, that's a traditional thing that I would have wanted to include, but again, it's his announcement. Next, pay attention to the wording inside the announcement. We are sending announcements, not invitations, so we need to make sure that we word things accordingly. Has graduated on the date, and then that we mail those announcements with the postmark no sooner than the date of graduation. Also, a good site like Tiny Prince is gonna prompt you for appropriate wording that reflects the level of formality of the announcement or invitation. Things like stating where your student will be going to college or studying after college are really important to note and people wanna know that and it's really quite fun to share. Next, make sure to get those return envelope addresses on there, on that back flip, have that address of your home so that there's no question that your student can't help you write the graduation announcements, save them a little bit of time and God forbid anything not get to where it needs to be because the, outdre the address is outdated. Finally, make sure to order thank you notes, but order them in their college colors. And the reason why is we're gonna be sending a lot of thank you notes that have nothing to do with whether or not my son gets a gift. There are uh, some really special people in his life from his childhood through his senior year that he'll be taking some time to thank. and. We wanted to make sure to do that in his college colors so that then when he goes off to college, he'll also have a nice little box of thank you notes in case he needs one for a professor or a friend or somebody who's done something nice to him because carrying forward that tradition of a handwritten note and gratitude into today's work world is one of the greatest gifts of personalization that my son can carry forward. So those are my tips for you. I suggest you take some time and check out the Tiny Prince site. They're not just for baby announcements. They're not just for little kid things. Oh my goodness. So check it out and let me know if you're ordering announcements of any kind this spring, graduation or college graduation, what kinds of things are you keeping in mind and looking for as you're putting them together? I hope that it's a wonderful experience for your family. And like I said, check out Tiny Prince, see what they have. And thanks so much for stopping by. We'll have more senior year tips. You can bank on it. <laughs> we'll see you soon.